Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey. Y'all just tuned in to the uh, Shameless Podcast, you know what I'm saying? I'm one of your co-hosts, No Shame. And I'm your girl, Vanity the Comedian. Yes, sir. We got a, we got some special guests uh, in here tonight, you know what I'm saying, by yes, the way of yes. the city, you know what I'm yes. saying, of Dallas, Texas. But before we introduce them, um, yeah. we know y'all watching us on YouTube right now. Feel free to go over to the Royal Lane Studios page and hit subscribe. Y'all comment, like, run them views up, tell your friends all about it, share all of that. And then, of course, you can hit us up on all platforms. Yes, sir. Everything. On, on the everything. Shameless Facebook, Podcast. Instagram, TikTok, everything. The Shameless Podcast. Y'all go tell your friends about it. Y'all share the podcast. We trying to run them numbers up. Facts, facts, yes, facts. Yes, it's going to yes. be a big 2024, man. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, man. I forgot. We didn't do a, a New Year's episode. We didn't. We yeah, because I was, I had pneumonia. Hey, look. New Year, new us. New Year, new me. New yeah. lungs. I got pneumonia. Hey, man, hold on now. Wait, man. <laughs> I came in and the new year stand, with pneumonia. Uh, no, man. Not the, not the pneumonia. Yes, baby. I did. Yes, I did. I was <laughs> sick as a dog. First of all. I just been sick like the last part of the year, like the last couple yeah. of weeks. I had like a stomach virus. I had yeah. pneumonia. I had. I was just, yeah. just falling apart. Yeah. I would say New Year, New Me, but clearly this motherfucker breaking down. Yeah. 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 It's okay though. It's okay. It's but okay. You heard, we don't get it Vanity is here tonight, y'all. You know what I'm saying? By way of, uh, you know, she she flew flew here uh, on the, the what is it called? The American Airlines. Well, uh, I flew here. Yeah. I, yeah. The she, spirit yeah. feel like it. It's cool though, you know what I'm yes. saying? We, we glad out. that you made it. Hey, Shout out to our resident we, DJ we, back in this what? thing. That's what I was just gonna say. We got DJ Bobby UFO in this Finally. thing. Finally. You know what I'm saying? We talking about happy new year years. Yeah. I'm gonna ask on it because I'm ignorant. <laughs> it's good get to on, see Get you. on Welcome his ass. Back. Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, but you are you being MIA, you know we had people sending up prayers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we had to was. tell people don't ask no questions, just yeah, pray. Just you pray, know. you know what I'm saying? Now well, we happy glad, to see you though, brother. Glad to have Bobby back in the building, man. We yes. like I said before, we got some special guests in here tonight. We got my boy Derek Durden. What's up? What's up? Glad to be here. Yeah. Absolutely, you know what I'm saying? And then we got my guy Ace Culture in this thing tonight, man. <laughs> yeah, what's going on? Them I'm ready to be here. No, man. Nah, we got like hoodies clean. and sweatshirts. Yeah, on. you know what I'm this saying? This man came in here in a whole Easter suit. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. actually, you yeah. know, I did. Yeah. I wouldn't. Never yeah. mind. I'm yeah. happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Say, I'm happy to be here, man. I'm happy bless to be here. Bless the bless. Yeah. Bless the sure Facts, facts, man. Yes. So. We so, at the, we at the uh, you know, we in the Royal Lane Studios. We about to get this thing kicked off. Yeah, yeah. So, Vanity, I I, I know you know what I'm saying. We uh, like we said, we're gonna start the new off New Year off pretty fresh. Mm -hmm. uh, this is our first uh, official show of the New Year. You know what I'm saying. Yes. So we wanted to bring it in right. Shout out to Biz. You know what I'm saying, providing us such a great platform to uh, to actually have our voices be heard. You know what I'm saying and be spoken. Of course, we um, got a lot of new things coming this year. Like we absolutely. we working on some stuff behind the scenes, so we're gonna be bringing some new stuff to y'all. Of course, you know we uh, we did take a couple weeks where we just kind of just us. Yeah. Where we was just talking, letting the people get to know us. But you know we got to get our guests back in here. It's been Not a fact. lot going on in the media. Yeah. And we we got a lot to talk about. <laughs> we got a lot to oh, talk man. about tonight. We got a lot to talk about Sub tonight. We got some subject matter, you know what I'm saying? We had a few questions, you know what I'm saying, from a, from a few of our our fellow faithful watchers uh, mm, or listeners okay. or or subscribers. Uh, they asked the question, and I wanted to ask the question on this show as well. But you know what? Before we get into that, yeah. before we get into that question, because I know you know we're gonna get into we, the we, you know we're we, gonna, we, 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 we gonna get to going. Yeah, I do want to know a little bit about our guests. You Facts. know what I'm saying? Okay. I wanna. Yeah. You know y'all here with yeah. us. Of course, y'all gonna get into the hot topics yeah. with us as well. For but we sure. want to know who y'all are. So we, we, we gonna, gonna start with my guy here. We <laughs> gonna start with you. Yeah. Well, what suit I? Got? <laughs> <laughs> That's your name, three piece suit. I got you. It's a two. My name is Derek Curry. Yeah. And uh, at this point, I'm a certified motivational speaker and author. Yeah. I'm actually getting out of the 
and some young men speak with their children. And, you know, I'm just trying to make an impact, let my story be the story that changes lives for other people. Facts. So Facts, facts, okay, facts. Tell us a little bit about this story, if you don't mind. For those of the people yeah. that's watching it that don't know you. Kind of you give know. us a kind of little bit of a backstory. Yeah. Well, when I was 19, 20 years old, I caught a murder case. Mm-hmm. I was hanging out with my partners at the club or whatever. The uh, situation turned to something that it didn't have to. Right. But in the end, I ended up with a murder case. I served 17 years on the 25-year sentence. Man. And so, during my time in prison, though, I didn't become bitter, I became better. Yeah. I became a man who is not only uh, coming home with a new perspective. Yeah. Through my struggle, you know, I, I gained strength. Right. And so I'm trying to share that strength with other individuals and give them the motivation and the courage to know that, hey, it don't matter what you're going through, there's always a brighter day. Absolutely, I man. I, I had a few questions, you know what I'm saying, that I wanted to ask uh, Derek. Obviously, we grew up together, man, you know, by way of Pleasant Grove. Uh, my guy Ace, you know what I'm saying, he from he from the spot over there, too. Yeah, but um, coming up in Pleasant Grove, man, uh, what was it? I know what it was like for me. Right. What was it like for you uh, coming up? You were a football star, had all these aspirations, and then all of a sudden life kind of like takes you in a different direction. Yeah. You know, I always had the best strength, so I was always, you know, always in the mix. Yeah. And so that popularity gave me a sense of um, safety and security. Yeah. And then the situation happened, and it basically bust that bubble of security because that security was basically based on fictitious things. Right, mm-hmm. right. Based on superficial things. Right. And so growing up in the grove, the grove wasn't a problem. It was my upbringing. Was, mm. There was a lot of things that was missing. I had voices. Right. Myself. Right. And I try to fill it with things from a road. Right. And you understand that if you get it with things from an environment that's not fully developed. Right. You gonna have whole skills and things. And, and I think sometimes we, um, like, when it comes down to our quote unquote hoods, uh, we rep that like it's our, you know. Like our life is dependent upon it when, when we don't even own any of these streets. Man, you ain't these never lying because I be ripping you know the we, hell out the Sometimes we, <laughs> we, don't even own the, we don't even own the houses in the neighborhoods. Yeah, wow. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so coming from the Grove, you know what I'm saying, actually going into an environment where it's even more rambunctious as far as like the, the, the jail system. You know what I'm saying? Tell me what it is in there that, that you took. Because I know a lot of people come in, go in there one way and they come out uh, either they going to be better or they come out worse. How did you come out better? To be honest, when I went in, I went in as an individual who was actually seen even by the U.S. Marshals when they came in with the AR-15. Mm. They saw me. They was like, you the guy we arrested? Man. And when I got out on bond, the woman that, you know, gave me my stuff at the counter, she was like, you don't look like a murderer. Right. So growing up, I was always in town getting gifted. I was always like a sports Oh, sport. yeah. You know, I was in all type of uh, extracurricular activities. So right. The activities that I was participating in that got me in trouble, I didn't even have to do that. Right. And for me, it was more about fitting in. And it's crazy how a person who could be so popular still has a desire to fit in. Right. So that's true. Right. Not even in the same, you know. Not the even same. in the, exactly. So why would you want to fit in with people who you're not even the same with? And, and, and I think. You see that as a kid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because how old were you when you went to prison? Not, yeah. You was 20. Yeah, you was a kid. You was still a kid. Yeah. You really was. Like, and then you did, you said 17 years. And so how long have you been out now? A uh, year and two months. Oh, yeah. you just got No, out. fresh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Look at really? you. Look at God. <laughs> yeah. He is so good. No, for real. Dang, that's crazy. You know what? How has it been? Like with you being out, is oh man, because so much has changed in yeah, that yeah. amount of time. Yeah. I mean, you know, how how how's your transition been? Like, has it been easy? I mean, it, it, I know it can't be. Just coming back to the, to Hell the world. Nah, nothing is easy. Things are so different. <laughs> exactly after being gone for so long, like. How's your transition been? To be honest, my transition was really, really smooth. Man. Due to the fact God blessed me 
with a support system during my whole time. Right. That I was always connected to the streets. Yeah. And so, and then I was doing stuff within prison that's not illegal in prison, like having cell phones. Yeah. So I was always connected to the mm. streets, so I was never so far detached. Right. I got lost within the prison system. Mm. So being connected to the streets actually, um, you know, helped me with my transition. So you could never find like a, a, a level of, cause some people get comfortable in there, man. And then they, they get their time stacked on and stacked on and stacked on. Like, were you comfortable in, like, did, did you ever at a point think I'm not going, I'm not going home? I mean, due to the fact that I had a end date, I knew eventually I was going home. Right. And you gotta, you gotta understand, I'm in the situation with more time than I was old. Mm. So they basically, in my eyes, they gave me a life sentence—a twenty-year-old with a twenty-five-year sentence. Right. I got more time than I am old. Right. Damn. And so for me, that's wild. That's wild, bro. For me, like inside, I got in and I got comfortable. It took me eleven years to get a two-year substance abuse. Wow. Because not because I wasn't smarter, man, it's because I was messing with the female guards. And I yeah. Was doing everything that uh, some individuals do within prison. Right. And so I was distracted. I was still pretty much making some of the same moves that I was moving. Right. Yeah. And sometimes you get in there, you 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 try to adapt to the environment in there. But get getting in there and adapting and then taking on the moniker of the of those same people, you can you can get caught up and end up end up stuck there. Yeah. So it's really about your mind state. Yeah. How you got your mind set up is just how, because I was the same person in prison that I was before I went to prison. Right. I was still hoping, I was still playing sports, I was still the same individual. Right. I learned that one thing, just the mo most important thing, the power of association. Man. So if you associate with a certain crowd, you're going to actually eventually become. Yeah. Or you're going to get what yeah. they, or, what, or you're going to get what's coming to them. It's, it's a connection. I, I can dig it. And so for me, I didn't spend my time uh, gang banging or looking at sports all day. You know, it was a time or two I would gamble or whatever, but I spent my time reading books. Yeah. You know, I, what, what, was, what, what was one of your favorite books, you know, while, while there? Uh, my first book that I read was um, The Seven Habits, Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. Mm. I'm so glad you didn't say the encyclopedia. <laughs> 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 one more nigga go to prison. <laughs> Get out and tell us about <laughs> yeah, they how read. they read the whole encyclopedia. Yeah, nah, nah. read every word, man. You know what I'm saying? Eclectic. And then come That's out using new. these words <laughs> like all of us been sitting up reading the encyclopedia. Nah, um, nah, for real. But one of the one of the most life changing books I read was the uh, the Prosperity Bible. Okay. And it's yeah. it's not the Bible as far as the Holy Bible, but it it takes some of the same principles and make it. Make it applicable right. to everyday life. Right, right. I can agree with that, man. So you 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 got in there, you know what I'm saying? You got on your books when you knew you had a date. Right. What was that like? You know, what what kind of feeling, you know what I'm saying, came in you? Did you have feel feel a, a sense of uh, rejuvenation, you know what I'm saying? Or or you know what I'm saying, some sort of Damn, I'm getting ready to get out. You know what I'm right. saying? Well, let me ask you this too. Though. So even though, so you had a date, it wasn't a possibility for them to deny anything or once you like, once you get a date, you pretty much set. Okay. Yeah. And so, and it's crazy you asked that question because I'm on the phone with my sister and the woman that I was dating at the time, yeah. and they're so excited, they're so hyped up, and they tell me, "Hey, you coming home?" And I break. I, I just paused for a second, and I said, "Uh, I'm gonna call y'all back." Mm. And it messed them up. And they was upset with me for a while because they couldn't understand that in prison you have to turn your emotions off Damn. in order to be able to survive and yeah. sustain. Yeah. And so by me not showing any emotions, they were so excited. You know, it hit them by surprise by me just saying, "Hey, I'm gonna call y'all back." Yeah. And so that, that was it just something you didn't want to feel at that time or that moment it was, or you felt like that moment was just like I can't in, I can't embrace it yet. It's crazy because I, I I never it was never a time where I had to make a transition. Mm. Mm. Even in when 17 I, years. Yeah. Oof. 
Yeah, and I never had to make a transition because you got to understand, I went to my, the last unit I was on was basically like a, a program for people who were going home. Right. So you have outside trustees and this the guy was a really cool guy. He was like, a, I've never seen somebody who do over 10 years not cry when they leave out. Wow. And so when I left out, you can see the video. I'm just the same individual. Yeah. It never really hit me, and it still hasn't hit me. And there's never been, like like I say, my transition was smooth. Right. And that was blessed. It's a blessing because, like I say, the sports system I had. Like, Man. even when you, like, like ate a crab leg or something for the first time, you like, <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm just thinking about, like, how would I feel? Yeah. Don't look at me like that. I'm just saying, if I got out of I've been in prison for like 20 years, I'm trying to put myself in your mind frame. Like, and I try crab leg. I'm just going to start crying. Girl, shit. Because oh. it's not good. I still haven't tried one, so maybe. Are you like, serious? Yeah. Serious. We got to get you some crab legs, motherfucker. You ain't had crab, crab legs, legs in 20 right? years. You need a crab leg. Right. I bet you cry. What was I probably will. the first thing you ate when you got out? Bucky's. No barbecue oh, sandwich. Bucky's is nah, the shit. Food. You went to the right spot. <laughs> yeah. That's Get my that shit. that man a barbecue sandwich, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah, nah, and nah, you man. didn't cry? No. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> Nigga, I would have been booed the fuck hooing. Nah, right. oh, for real. That would yeah, have excited me. That's crazy, though. So, you out, right? Okay. Transitioning into life today. Okay. You know what I'm saying? How is life... Since then, mm -hmm. how how has things changed full circle? For you me? got an Android or iPhone? <laughs> <laughs> uh, iPhone. Okay, nah, you doing real. good Say, so far. Woo! That Astro. You would have said Android. <laughs> I would have been like, yeah, you need to go back where yeah. you came from, right. sir. Those going to send right. you right there. Boy, y'all hard. Oh, you man. still in there. Right, I have an Android. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. You need to cut it out, man. We, we. <laughs> that boy say you got an Android you, rental. You on the prayer request line. <laughs> <laughs> we still praying for you. It's okay. <laughs> Bobby say he got an asteroid, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, he's well, about to land right. on all y'all ass with that phone. Oh, Lord. But, yeah, so you transitioning into life today, man, how, how things have come, come full circle. What, what are you? What are you think? What are the things that you got going on for yourself right now? Well, I became part of the Urban Specialist Change Makers, where I, okay. you know I'm part of an organization that goes out to the community and help. Yeah. Um, I started my own podcast. Yeah. Uh, right. It called? It's called Derek Durden LLC. It's okay. basically my story telling yeah. about different uh, aspects of going to prison and the transition back into society. Okay. And mm -hmm. uh, you know, right now I'm rebranding myself. I'm writing a book. Uh, I'm finna start a whole new uh, Facebook channel, okay. YouTube channel, and just telling the story of successful successful people who are now successful, but once was in prison. Right. And so that's my, you know, I don't want to just tell my story because it ain't all about me. Yeah. There's other people who even are even more successful than I am and can reach more people. So. No facts. I heard my my brother. You know, he just recently got out. Man, started a moving company. You know what I'm saying? Just went right back into a hustle mode. Right. Um, Cause life don't stop. You know what I'm saying? You got kids, all these other different things. But he told me, he said, man, I went to jail for y'all. He said, I went to jail so y'all will never go and experience the things that I experienced there. He said also, he said the most talented people that he's ever met in his life were in jail. No, nah, they do be talented though. They be fine too. Really, <laughs> 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 they do be okay. I'm, I just had to add. Y'all know Jet Vanity. Listen, y'all. Valentine's they coming up. Uh, Vanity done <laughs> told us she don't. If a man go to jail on her, what? I'm breaking up with him. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Vanity said. As as it she hit. said as soon as uh. I ain't saying I wouldn't gather a pen pal while they already. Girl, shut up. But, I mean, did you have some single friends still? <laughs> <laughs> I can get bored sometimes when I want to speak. But this, y'all stop. <laughs> <laughs> Vanity said this ain't about me. Right. Nah, but nah, oh, I feel you. I feel you. Nah, they it do be talented men in there. Like they right. be rapping, they be yeah, singing, they be that, dancing. Yeah. He they told me, they man, put say, shows in there. you got some cash in there that could build radios and build all these different types they be of doing things. Tattoos. Got all these different types. Yeah, they can do surgery. They can do a lot. So it's it's a lot of talented yeah, people there. They do. They get shanked. They be patched. Overly qualified. Right. Say, my nigga. 
<laughs> yeah, and, and I can see where you're going with that question because yeah. you got to understand that majority of people, well, you have drugs in prisons, but a yeah. lot of the people who are in prison are away from their vices. Right. They don't have access to a lot of their vices, the things that hold them down. Right. And stop them from really going to the next level. You think that that, that uh, brings amount of, uh, about a, like some senses? You know, if you've been deprived from something, it let's just say you, give you a discipline. It gives you a um, it's just a discipline. Maybe a discipline. That's Absent, what it is. Yeah. But you gotta understand, absence is not recovery. Because yeah. it, why you think that so many people return to prison within the first year? Mm. Just because you're taken away from it, don't mean that you're over it. And then as soon right. as you get right back in that same position to indulge in it again, yeah. Most people go right back to the same things that they. I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes I'm be honest. I be thinking they got boyfriends in there when they just keep going back like that. Because my cousin, I don't want to talk about him like this. But I be worried about him. Yeah, our right. vanity is crazy. But I be thinking man. they do. What more like, do you want? <laughs> <laughs> I be thinking that sometimes I'm like, all right, you just going to keep going back. I feel like you got somebody in there waiting on you on the other side. I understand. Oh, thanks. I get man. it. Go back, do what you got to do. But, you know. So, so. as far as your, you say you got a book getting ready to come out, right. we're going to wrap it up. Tell us what the name of the book is. Tell us where the people can find you at and also let the people know, you know what I'm saying, whatever else you got going on so we can make sure that we support Facts. you and, and, and everything that you got going on here. And we're going to get you a crab leg. Nah, for, nah, sure. for real. Got to get this brother some crab legs. Got to give him some crab legs. <laughs> nah, you don't, you sure. don't know what you missing. I promise you, you're going to shed so many tears. Maybe that's what I need. Yep. <laughs> Them hoes good. Them hoes good. <laughs> Crab legs. Yeah. But One thing I did recognize, though, before you answer that, you never lost that smile, man. I appreciate Everybody it. Everybody always knew you for the, the most smiling this motherfucker in the goddamn school. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this nigga was smiling, and it, it just... <laughs> <laughs> Every picture. <laughs> I mean, that's why they call me Kool Aid. Yeah, though, nah, so. for real, man. Kool Aid. But, but you, but you never, never, never that's lost precious. that smile, man. Yeah, he been Kool Aid since we were. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. Yay high, man. Yeah. And it, like I say, it's a blessing though, because a lot of people go to prison and become hardened. Yeah. They experience certain things. You know, everybody's uh, time in prison wasn't that smooth. You know? Right. Yeah. You know, so for me. Being an intellectual person, you know, it was it was a blessing all the way around. Right. But as far as the book, I haven't uh, copyrighted the type yeah. title yet. Okay, so I, got I can't you. Uh, so show that we gonna hold. Property. We gonna hold it, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just Y'all had to get that on it's the next coming. one. We definitely gotta have you back though, bro. For sure. Yeah. And uh, we'll shameless plug it when it come out. Nah, for real. For shameless sure. plug, you know. Yeah. We also do have a shameless plug I tonight. Know. You know. What I I'm know. Saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But. So we got to move on to uh, three piece suit over here. <laughs> yeah, oh, can, can three piece suit get his drink? No, nah, sure. sure. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. of course you can get your Sorry, drink. Sorry, we don't want you, get, don't want you get, sitting get, up here thirsty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got a whole three piece suit on. We don't want you thirsty, I'm sir. So you done just gave my dog. Yeah, uh, even though it's two pieces, two pieces but we gonna go with three pieces. <laughs> I be giving people. I got coworkers. I've been, in, you know, I've been in my job two yeah. years. I got coworkers. I never called him by their real name. Like, yeah. This is one dude that worked me. His name, I don't know if it's Chris or if it's Corey. So I just call him little Chris Corey. Girl, cut it I, out. I swear to God, because I never. And he ain't never, never corrected you. Nope. Yeah. They just wrong with it. He like you, man. He like you, man. I will Come beat on all the It's another boy. I think his yeah, name. he wants some. Chris Corey, come here. It's another Chris boy. Chris Corey must be Andres. trying to get your What's phone number. Yeah. Name? Rashad. Uh, I ain't never call that boy. What his, you call I call him? him Andres. Come on, man. And now right. I got other people calling him Andres because everybody <laughs> think that Andre is his name, but that boy name not Andres. Man, is wow. somebody going to check you one day. They not. be talking to them. They not. I, they they, they, they be the wrong right with it. Studio audience, cool. uh, y'all know Vanity. Hey, sometimes she cool, sometimes she crazy. And she cool and she crazy. I'm cool crazy. Yeah, I'm cool I'm just and just she crazy. Here. But we got a special, another special guest in here yes, tonight. You know what I'm saying? Our, our artists... Uh, for this evening, also, you know, what I'm saying he gonna give us some 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 fresh stuff at the end of. Oh, uh, you mean to give us some classic? Yeah, 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 man. I'm a classic maybe, man. Maybe. <laughs> Do I dance? 
I mean, I'm because I'm nah. looking at the shoes. I know that foot. Yeah. Work. Nah, nah. Th- these type of shoes, you just go into meetings in. Oh. <laughs> These ain't dancing shoes. Yeah, dancing nah. shoes got taps on the bottom. We need to get somebody here that tap. We do need to say. I want to be entertained. We done had every. We even had a t- orangutan that was in here one night. Yeah, you know they, what I'm saying? They bought a monkey in here. One yeah, night. they bought a, I was so scared. I don't, I don't yeah. mess with monkeys. I mean, at all. <laughs> I mean, I don't really know no monkeys like that either. I I told them keep it. In I bed. don't even want to touch. I don't. I yeah. mean, I do like this. Yeah, he said I don't even want to touch. They they know too yeah. unpredictable. True. Look, man. So tell us about yourself, three the, piece. The man, suit. hey, the man with the curliest ponytail in Texas, man. man. <laughs> yeah. Your duck tail clean, though. Yeah. Appreciate it. Real shit, man. I appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> I mean, shit. I do music, you know. Uh, yeah. I'm Ace Culture. I used to be Anonymous Culture. That's what everybody yeah. knew me as. I had a nice run in the city. Real talk. Um, yeah, one of the most talented guys I know. You know what I'm saying? When I say can spit. Got got a a, a a bunch of soul. I think the music that that is out nowadays is missing the soul. Yeah, in. you know what I'm it's saying. It's missing like real feeling. Real feeling. You know what I'm saying. Which is amazing to me, not to get off of me, but to yeah. get, touch on that real fast because when everybody punch rap, yeah, you yeah. would think punch rapping. Hey, is cut that, like, Kenfo. Let me uh. They yeah. just basically not writing. They just sitting at the mic and doing every bar. Right to me. You would think you would get more of a realistic, um, a more more feeling yeah. from right. the person, but we get lesser opposite. and less. It's just oh, more and much more away rhyme. from feeling. It's just what's wrong. Yeah. What rhyme? Which I don't knock them. You know, if you yeah. find that that's your niche, yeah, then do your thing. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But uh, but sometimes the niche is just what's popular. You know what I'm saying? It's not. It's not okay, hey man, because this is what I had to learn just doing this last album, bro. I said I want to do album a uh, album that I like. Mm-hmm. I love y'all, but I got to do this shit for me. me yeah. right. And if and morally, if it don't <laughs> feel right, I'm not gonna do it. Right? I ain't shit. I ain't finna rap about this dumb ass shit that I'm not doing. No well, more. I think that. But again, that yeah. go back to what I was saying. Like yeah. as far as just saying anything, because <clears throat> why would I? We as people, yeah. in our culture, in my opinion, lost yeah. the art of like emotion. We losing the art of emotion. Right. Especially being vulnerable yeah. in your emotions. Right. So why the fuck I'm going to get on the um, yeah. mic and yeah. tell you I couldn't eat today? Man. Because that's what you're going to feel. Because that's what you feel. That's what somebody else going to feel. Yeah. Yeah. Because they probably couldn't. I didn't eat today, eat nigga. Either. But everybody can't relate to, uh, you know, spinning. I heard what, Andre three thousand said something, bro, and I think you can probably you you will probably be able to resonate. You know what I'm saying? He said, "I don't even at the age of forty eight know how to connect with." I completely disagree. Okay, shit, you live in life, yeah. you can connect with people. Yeah, that's I think that's no. Do you disres- think he's just too deep on that? I don't know how to judge people. Okay. I'm one of them people that's real, like, understanding of your walk. Like, right. whatever you yeah. go through, what you do, like, right. that's what made you. Like, right. I'm not here to judge that because right. mine crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I don't, I can't relate to that. Right. Because Jay-Z put out songs and people can he relate did. to them he all did. the time. He can put High out level conversation right type music. It's, it's not, it's, it's just... Music, real life. Yeah. It's where you edit your life. Yeah. Exactly. Because somebody want to hear that. You got my nigga You got a lot of out. people that start like. Let's <laughs> talk about Jay Z for instance. Like yeah. you know how he started out rapping back in the day when he was younger, right. coming up in the game, versus how he is now. He got a level of success that he living. He not living no street life. Right. So you can't expect him to keep rapping about street shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you might get a song, but a four-minute song about raising see, your credit. But see, That's what just hap- how it is. But what <laughs> happens is, nah, for real. But what yeah. happens is they go back to the vulnerability. Yeah. Mm. Because then you got to tell the truth. Yeah. Right. And the truth is most artists broke. Yeah. Most the truth artists is, broke, man. Uh, most artists don't got what you think. The truth is, most of the shit that they talk about is not a reality. Mm. Facts. So now, 
am I finna manipulate all of this work I've done or just burn this down? Yeah. For the Ooh. sake of just that's, say it's that's heavy though. Heavy. That's Ace, that's heavy though. But that's the reality. That's the reality. <laughs> and don't nobody want to hear that shit if it's not authentic. But that that's why it that's why the system is made to pump out new artists. Right. Yeah. Because if you don't want to grow with said artists, uh it's uh what are those things called? Where they do the hip hop reunion tour? Yeah, yeah. You people still gonna tour. People if, still you don't gonna gotta tour, go man. to that, but you might be. You might want to go to NLE Chopper. Yeah, yeah. he still pumping the same message. Yeah, yeah. Go, go listen to them because I mean I don't want to listen to like let's say Rick Ross or something. Like I don't, don't wanna, like Rick. You no, don't no, like no. Rick I like Rick Ross. Ross. Yeah. I, said, I don't want to listen to him talk about slanging rocks and <laughs> doing drugs and like. Talk about laps see, of luxury. That's, yeah. what, this, that's how but, you live it. But this is the difference in that. Yeah. When let's remove, let's use that same comment and put Jeezy there. Mm-hmm. In you, a different you, place too, though. Hold on, but you wasn't at them shows when Jeezy was on tour doing one hundred two. Yeah. TM 102 and then when he was doing this recession I'm yeah I'm for the people and my stuff. My pleasure did this black. Yeah, all this shit. It's a total different. Mm-hmm. You see he went back to trapping. Yeah. yeah. Because some people put themselves not people, I'm sorry. The artists that you create become so believable mm-hmm. that it's hard for you to step out of that It's hard for you character. to shake that Sometimes character, man. Hulk Hogan, always Hulk Hogan. Yeah. He can't never go outside and be brother. whatever his real name is. Amazing. When brother. somebody <laughs> see him, they want him to be Hulk Hogan. Nah, yeah. facts. You see what I'm saying? That's I like the I like thing. I like the analogy though. I like yeah. I like that 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 is a pretty much a perfect expression of that's exactly how it is, bro. But nobody you, give the but artist you're credit selling though. Your, when you're selling a character, and and now you've grown from this character, that's a fight within, though. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because now you got to go out here and be fake because you don't believe this shit no more. Yeah. And now you got to compromise yourself morally because that ain't what you own no more. Right. So yeah. at some it's point, not really it's morally. Take place. It's not really morally. Okay. It just come down to. It just comes, in my opinion, it comes down to what you're willing to put up with. Yeah. Because now, what we do as humans, we get comfortable in some things. Yeah. So if I'm comfortable in what I'm gathering, it's hard for me to turn this faucet off. Yeah. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Once it's on, it's on. Yeah. So you literally asking me to... um. Completely, completely like <laughs> Cut jeopardize it what I got going on because you want me to be politically to correct. You yeah, want me yeah. to tell you that I'm a father now. Right. You want me to tell you that uh, you know, I don't. And like I'm getting going prostate to the club exams no and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like that kind of stuff. Like yeah, I'm about having anxiety. My health bad. <laughs> I got arthritis. Yeah, yeah, I wake up. I can't even hold the dough. Like come on, like I got to sit on the side of the bed for a minute. See, nigga, said, he don't. He gonna say no. Nah, I said holding the fart for what? Exactly. I'm gonna let it go now, baby. It ain't the same. <laughs> no more. I can't drink like I used to. Yeah, buddy. but nah, I mean, uh, <laughs> you know that's no, that's real shit though, man. And I think that that uh, coming from an artist perspective, I think that people are actually gonna take that in. You know, we, I know that's gonna be a great sound bite, bite for the Shane's podcast mm-hmm. uh, when, when we drop it. But that that that's gonna stick here, man. Right. Especially that Hulk Hogan shit. That that made me see. The shit more vivid, right? You know what I'm saying, right? The art of expression, though, man. I think that um, uh, most most people, Vanity being a comedian, right? Mm-hmm. She has an artistic expression that's different than a rapper, mm-hmm. but she still has a relevance in this particular, I, I say, realm of. So it's funny that you say that because I was literally just having a conversation with a uh, Gary who's gonna be on the show yeah. next week and. Um, one of my fellow comedian friends, and we was just having a conversation and we was talking about like pretty much branding and like just <clears throat> authentically being yourself when you go out on stage. Like for me, I'm not a caricature. So I don't go on stage and try to be anything other than vanity. Right. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I just give them meat, no matter who's in the audience, whether it's white, black, like, they they're going to eat it up. But it's because I'm being myself. Like, right. it, it, and I, I have, I can't help it. Like, I know people look at me and, and think one thing because I got this colorful hair. And, <clears throat> you know, I, I come in, I look, I look a certain way. Mm -hmm. But then when I open my mouth, it's a whole nother situation. Because right, then right. people don't expect me to talk as rough mm -hmm. as I do or, or you know, just be as raw as I do. Or, yeah. you know... I have an old soul, so I right. come off kind of like that auntie, or mm. you know, like somebody. I call mama. you that all. I say I say that all the time. Uh, vanity sound like somebody step auntie. Like no, for real. real. Like I ain't got no kids. I ain't got no nieces and nephews. I mean, my friends got kids, but yeah. I don't have any blood nieces and nephews or children. And like, but I still have like a grandmother, ain't it, like type soul. Right. And that's what I give on stage because that's gonna be that's what's gonna carry me. Like right. I'm literally branding myself now. For who I'm always gonna be, and I was saying how I, w I went to go see Miss Pat. Like I'm a big fan of Miss Pat and Lunel. Lunel is like my number one. Yeah. But when I see them perform and I see them talk, I see myself. Like mm -hmm. that's me right. when I get older. Because I want to continue to be somebody who can just do what they want to do, say what they want to say, be authentically me, mm -hmm. and people love me for me. Because then I ain't got to do all that right. and try to even when I get older try to stay in this lane like I, that I'm not in anymore because. I'm already here. No, facts. But yeah. I think with comedians, um, I've never been a comedian, mm -hmm. but I, I like to make people laugh, right? Mm -hmm. But um, it's cool to be yourself as a comedian. You'll be surprised how hard it is for some people to be themselves, though. Well, that's what I was going to bring yeah. up, though. The art, the character in most cases come from most creative people, in my opinion, are, are kind of awkward. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you have to find something to hide behind. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? To be able to say, okay. And it's sensitive. Like, shit, we, bro, the art of expression is a sensitive <laughs> exactly. ass thing. I'm Sounds giving sensitive. you m me. Yeah. I'm giving you something that I've created, mm -hmm. right? And and I'm and I want you to judge it. Yeah. And I know everybody not gonna like it. Facts. I know I might miss. Yeah. I know I might hit. I don't know what the reality. That's a. Uh, yeah, that's like hopscotch. It, it's yeah. it's that's uh, it, like waiting to jump in the jump it, rope. You don't know if you gonna hit it. Catch it's it. almost like going <laughs> on is, a slow ass roller coaster. It is. Bro. It's tricky, but yeah. Although, how can I put it? Although, yes, you the 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 notion is to be yourself, but it's also an art form at the end of the day. Right. There is still a blueprint. Still a level of relevance that you yeah. have to have. And there's there still a shit. blueprint to follow. There's still exactly. different things that you have to still kind of go by. Mm -hmm. Like the, the way a joke is made. Like right. you know what I'm saying? The, the setup, the premise, the, climax, the punchline, yeah. all of that. Like that stuff is still very, very relevant. Right. You no still matter have to, where. That's just like at at a job, you know what I'm saying? Call center. We all probably don't work one. Um, you you get you got the, the basic script yes. that you have to read, and then you have to work it your way. You know what I'm saying? Yes, that's it, like, that's perfect. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's that's the here's the script. Yep. Now develop your niche your with way. the script. Develop your niche with you the know what script. I'm saying? And that's kind of like where I am in with, with myself. Yeah. As far as an artist. Uh, developing myself, I'm de developing my brand as yeah. far as what to expect when you come to a show. Right. What you're gonna get out of me? That like not necessarily expect what I'm gonna talk about or what right. I'm gonna say, but you understand what you're getting yourself into. Exactly. When you Whether that's me telling you stories, just like if you go see Ali, you expect him to tell you some banging ass stories. Right. Fact. You know what I'm saying? If you go see Eddie Griffin, you expect him to talk about shit that's going on. Exactly. In the world. You know what I'm saying? You expect him to get political. You you expect some sort of current events to be a part of that exactly. that, that particular. If deal. you go see Mike Epps, you expect to get a drunk uncle at the party. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, so right, right. that's kind of like for give me, the people what they expect, but also give them a little bit more of you. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I give them all of me. Aha, we know that. I give them all of me. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> take that, take that. So so th we at the point with within our show, uh we, we had a couple of people who submitted subjects, right? Mm -hmm. Uh the first subject oh, was are men leading correctly and are women following correctly? Because they go hand in hand. You know what I'm saying? 
if a man are is men leading are men correctly. leading correctly and <laughs> are women following correctly. <laughs> okay, yeah, well, I'm gonna answer that last since all, we got a lot of men over here. <laughs> we got a lot of men over here. I'm gonna let y'all answer that. We come on, guess three piece hey, soup. Hey, so I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you take take the realm on that. First, first I'm finna, opinion. I'm finna start. Cat Williams rubbing my first knees. Opinion, I'm finna go uh, off. Are men in this day and age? I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. Then, with then, you. Then, then I want you to chime in. I got yeah. you. Um, are men leading correctly? I start by saying first. I think it's a man's world. Okay. You know what I'm saying? This is a man's world. Yeah. Um, but you need a woman. Yeah. You gotta have a woman. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. It's a man's world though. Um, so with me saying that, I feel like more of the preference is on us. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Why you and feel like that? Wrong. Because um, it start with us. Okay. It's our world. So what I mean by that. In the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> in my world, <laughs> as a man, you know, once a, a woman give me an opportunity yeah. to talk to her. Yeah. And I say yes. And then I say I want you to be my girl. Yeah. That's inheriting. That's already a position now, right? So right. that's me putting that on my plate. Right? right. So that's me starting to build this yeah. world of mine. Exactly. You know, it's different things that come with that communication and all of that, but I feel like it starts with, with us. So what's the, what's the first point of leadership do you think that we need to exude when we're pursuing, in pursuit of a woman? Really, I think it starts with us looking in the mirror. Mm. Like fixing us. Yeah. Because that's why we not leading right, okay. in my opinion. Because we got a lot of things that we think matter that we starting to find out in this new time. Yeah. It don't really matter. Money, yeah. uh, what you look like. Okay. We seeing the word motherfuckers win. Man. We seeing the ugly guy with the pretty girl. Yeah. It ain't, we seeing just. Yeah, I date an ugly nigga, but I ain't gonna take him nowhere. Man, cut it out. I fuck with an ugly nigga, but we ain't going out in public. But no, no, no. He gonna be my house nigga. I ain't, we ain't going nowhere. So, so, okay. So, as far as leading, we we, we leading with that, right? Right. So, should a man be in pursuit of a woman if he does not have his shit together? Most definitely. At all? To me, most definitely. Still. Most definitely. And I'm going to tell you why. Okay. Speak on that real quick. Because I'm big with analogies. I'm not even going to break it down or go into nothing deep. Just like this. Everybody done had an opportunity where they fucking remote then went out and stopped working. You're going to slap it a few times. Yeah. And then first thing you're going to do is you're going to take one battery out. Yep. And you gonna and put change that motherfucker, and that, right? that bitch start working again, don't it? Yeah, now nah, real shit. You might be that dead battery. That new person might be that other battery. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, perspective. You just cause you steady shooting and missing, like don't stop shooting. Yeah, and just cause you looking at your right now, it's somebody else that understand like what they see. This is a cool thing. People say, oh, potential, don't they? You don't know what to do with potential. Mm. Cause it's a motherfucker that can find something and say, oh, I know what to do with that. Yeah. That's just like a uh, seeking artist, uh, finding talent. It's the right. same thing. You might have been working with this person forever. And then he go work with this person and blow up in two months. Yeah. yeah. Perspective, man. It's perspective, bro. I can dig so it. So I never stop shooting. I don't care if you sleeping in your car. Yeah. Cause that's me. D, do, do say you, nigga jump down. Nah. <laughs> say come on. Say let's do it. No, nah, for yeah, sure. Nah. D, in this day and age, this day and time, do you feel like we as men are leading correctly? Or do you feel like women are? I mean, I know it's kind of like, okay, hey, look, yeah. I, I, I want to hear your perspective on it. I think, honestly, for the most part, the roles of men and women are starting to mesh together. Mm. Uh, men are becoming more feminine and women are becoming more masculine. Yeah. And so with that, there is a uh, a gray area mm. where... Niggas is bitches. The laws, <laughs> the, laws of, the laws of nature are getting right. screwed. Mr. Right. Screw, okay. And so in this time, leadership is basically really on a personal level. Okay. 
Yeah, wow. a man can lead, but also in this day and age, a woman, a woman can lead, can lead. also. Most mm. definitely, I and agree. We, damn right. Mm. And we see that on a daily basis. So but for me, I think that I our natural it. state is for a man to lead. Right. I think that man, okay. is, man is supposed to be the foundation. Okay. Because that's the way we design, and a woman is uh, basically a helpmate. Right. If if it is in line, if it's in the proper course of the way it's supposed to be. Right. But in these days and times, it's not in its proper course. Right. 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 Mm-hmm. If if we're going according to the biblical right. standard constructs, I, I, vanity. You're the only female in here. I know you've been itching. I know you. You know I'm what I'm saying. You scratching your eyes. You didn't rub the hole on the tight. I'm my Cat Williams knee rub. Cause 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 my boys then came. I, you know they what? They came out shoot. They, they did say some good stuff, some very good stuff. Exactly. <clears throat> I want to touch on what you said when you said men are becoming more feminine. Okay. And women are becoming more masculine. Like, it's true. I, I'm i guilty of that. But that's because... <clears throat> Don't make no excuse in here tonight. Let's I ain't go. making no excuses. What I'm saying is, is it is true, though. Because I, I can see where I have that problem being too masculine. But that's because I'm... I have to be the head of my shit. Okay. I have to be in control. I'm the captain of this shit. Do you feel like that's a defense mechanism, though, or do you? I do, but I also, um, I mean, but yeah, because I work hard for my shit, and ain't nobody finna come in here fucking my shit up. And I feel like that. Sorry to cut. No, you good. I feel like that's just uh, um, what's the word I want to use? More of a uh. That's the evolution of fuck you, bitch, mm. of of us. It is. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's the evolution of how we we treated them. And yeah. men, it, wow. it is. Wow. You know and what I'm men saying? are becoming wow. more um, more feminine. They are. Um, and I think a lot of that has to do with, you know, of course, men, you know, I'm not saying it's, it's anything wrong with men opening up and expressing their feelings and because you have feelings, you have emotions that's valid. But at some point, Something changed, and and me being a woman dealing with men, I is 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 weird, man. So because the, is, they is get these to doing just too soft. Sometimes yes, okay. and when I feel like a man is doing, and I'm a woman, women do crazy shit, right? Okay, right. But if I get with a dude a and lot. he start doing very feminine tent, like feminine tendencies, like you know, being super emotional, okay. like. Like say for instance, I'm a busy person. Yeah, I, I can't always answer my phone. I, for one, I have a, I have a job. Right. I work six to two in the morning, and then and I and I I work on trucks, so I'm not. I I, I do be on my phone a lot or talking on the phone, but I may not be able to answer in that moment. So you Pretty know, masculine I masculine job vanity. Come how, on. how does I a, do work a masculine <laughs> job? Let me, how does a how does a current mother that that's really providing for her family? Uh, communicate with her teenage son right now. Punch him in the chest. No. Nah. Mm. Well, that's one See? way. Okay. <laughs> so okay, that's one way. She texts him all day. Well, that too. She blow him up. She make sure he ate. She say, "What you doing? Did you make it home all right?" Once he get in the house, she say, "Did you do this?" He didn't clean up. She walk in the house and fuss at him. Right. He not going to clean up. He going to come home tomorrow and say, I forgot again. This is all things that's being bred in our household. Oh, most Facts. definitely. Facts. So it's still, going back Facts. To, it's still going back to an evolution of what we created. Because now we not in the household. So we can't tell you, say, leave that boy alone. Yeah. Yeah. Leave, be quiet. Like let him go, Be, let go do something today. Yeah, that's the balance. Stop hovering. But y'all doing the best y'all, cause y'all don't. This life we live in is real too. Yeah, man. It is, man. So it's worth. I, and, and, and sometimes I, I'm not blaming you, but no blame, it's no, no balance. Blame. Words, I, I don't gotta, know where you find the balance. So I gotta women tell can, y'all, women I gotta are tell just you. doing what they have what they got to do. Listen, I gotta tell y'all this while we talk about this, cause this is oh, yeah, this ahead, is man. so. This is so spot on and it's so funny. So I was recently talking to this young man or whatever. We been knowing each other for a while, but we was trying to, I guess, t- 
talk on dating tip, whatever, getting to know each other. Well, um, you know that I went home for the right, Desi Bank right, show. Right. And this fool, first of all, he knew I was coming in town. He ended up coming to the show as well. I went to the show with my friends. Right. I, it was like 15 of us that went. We went in three cars. So there's a lot of us. Okay. They all was sitting in the front. They was on the first, second row. I'm the only comedian in my in my friend group, right? Right. So I get to the show. I talk to the promoter. His wife was sitting in the front. She was like, hey, go, go, go let them know you're here so you can go backstage. I didn't know if I was gonna be able to get backstage or not. Right. Because you know, I hobby with about stuff like that. I'm like, I don't know how much pool I got. But when I got there, they made me go to the back. I end up going backstage. Right. I get a text message. Um Dang, so you 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 couldn't get nobody backstage with you? Yeah, I, I remember you telling me that. Bro, y'all, this man texts my phone down going back and forth with for me because I was backstage and he was sitting in a seat. Mm. And he could not understand why I didn't get him backstage with me and got upset yeah. because he felt like I should have pulled strings to get him backstage. Bitch, you ain't no ah, motherfucking comedian. The bitch. What the <laughs> fuck? First of all, yeah, because you're acting like a bitch. Okay. That's, that's bitch <laughs> shit. You being a groupie right now. You being a groupie bitch. That's why you don't Ooh. take your companion. Well, I didn't take him. He already had a ticket to the show. I was going to the show last minute because I was trying to get on the show. Right. Yeah. But they had already. I think sometimes these people don't. They don't understand. They don't. They understand. don't. But I end up going on my own. My no. my friends. My friends already had tickets to the show, so I didn't. I wasn't even able to sit you with them. I was sitting crazy. behind them. This Give this is up, something bro. crazy that I that I learned. Yeah. Or I'm not even gonna say that I learned, but some of my family and people get mad at me about. I don't promote to my friends and family. Mm, I don't right. let them know what I'm doing from a professional level. When I go around them, I just want to be Duke. Em. Why though? For that factor. Yeah. I just want to be. Wanna you don't want to feel like they trying to get something out of you. And the purpose of that story, we don't have these type of situations. Right. If, if, if my family at that, it's something I got going on, and they gonna all be backstage. Yeah. Yep. You see what I'm saying? Because I've learned that it's too much pressure when your friends going along, and right. when you're trying to make it in this industry, it's not a lot of, it's not a lot of room in them cracks to be pulling motherfuckers in. Man, hell. But I don't have that problem with my friends. I came with 14 other people, mm -hmm. and nobody had a problem with getting backstage you with gave me. Them some some. You, you mess with this cat like that? I, yeah, we was dating. Okay, well, no, she come on now. That, no, no, she no, 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 no. All right, now, canuda. start over. Let's no, no, no. But it doesn't <laughs> yeah. matter. But it does, no, 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 no. No, it does Let me not. Tell you why. Because Let even if we're dating, that does not mean that you can get in the same doors as me. That's not. You don't bring no value to me to get you back home. Hold on. Wait a minute. You didn't let me tell you why. Tell me why. Because I'm going to be so like, hell no. So you you was intimate with this man. Yeah. She, she okay. He doesn't see was, it. Okay. So maybe. Nope. He's like, because we are possessive creatures. Yeah. My girl didn't so let me backstage. Been vulgar, I ain't his girl. He, he, he going to say, <laughs> nah, nah, that's what I was about to say. He wasn't going to say his girl. My bitch backstage with all these popular ass niggas. Why I can't get back there? Hold on. He probably hey, thought you was embarrassed never, I him. bet y'all never talked about this. He's been to a show with me. With me but he's never, never been to the Desi Bates show. No, the other it, show that he came now. to, no, it wasn't that it wasn't big Desi of a Bates. show. I, I know. It wasn't that big of a show, I'm but he's been to a happened. show that I had. It was, that's but, different. But, that's but, but the thing is, even if you are, if you somebody that I'm dealing with, right, we're dating, then you we should understand. This. It doesn't matter. It does. You, But you being a groupie because you want to be backstage with I'm them. I'm being a groupie I don't to want to be backstage I'm with them. I want to network. Listen, That's why I'm backstage. So I'm not listen, back there to fuck but nobody. But as a man, as a man, yeah. right, Okay. you can't interject your thoughts onto me. But mm -hmm. I'm a talent. You not. Are you, excuse me? I'm the talent. Uh -huh. You're not. Okay, so what listen, does that what does me I might have just pulled for okay, me hold on. and I'm not gonna miss my opportunity okay, because you want to get back because we've seen so, this in our industry. Hold on, let me no, use I, this. Okay, go, we've go, go seen ahead. this in our industry. 
Hey, baby, stand over there. Let me take a picture with this Man, girl right here. Facts. Every woman can't handle it. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? It take. <laughs> we didn't sat down and talked Man. about this. Say, baby, you know when these people come, Let you got to move. Something. Hold on. You so gonna have look, to get over that. That's a discussion, though. I, okay, and I get that. So, but but still, you said you didn't discuss it with him. We didn't discuss that. But so now, in I the moment, my bitch in the backstage with Desi Banks. No, this nigga me. on the internet. So, I see this nigga on the thing with me against the fuse. No, but me. I'm with celebrities all the time. Like, and then I got to hear stories that, man, these no. bitches sucking and fucking them. No, 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 no. Because <laughs> celebrities ain't celebrities Come to on, me no more. No, but that's to you. I get I'm that. I'm not the talent. I get that. I just see right. these niggas so, on the so, internet. So this is what I'm gonna say. This is what I'm gonna say. <laughs> Perspective. I see. We gotta agree to disagree, guys. No, she, we gonna she, agree to disagree. No, I'm no, not no, happy. I'm not happy. Hey, hey, I'm right. feeling what you no, said. She buddy. know I'm right. If you didn't discuss that with that man, that's not fair to him. Because you you assuming now. Bro, that's some groupy shit. Okay, but you want to get okay, backstage. Listen, listen. You want to get close. Okay, well let me see. I don't give a damn about these motherfuckers being rich and famous. They they they're my peers. We're on, really on the same motherfucking I, but, level. Because I'm an I, artist, I agree with you. Well, let me say it yeah, this so way. Yeah, so that shit don't yes, matter. What? I'm back here yeah, trying to what? work. I'm a groupie because when I be scrolling at night, these niggas on my phone. Nah. These the niggas I see. <laughs> I see these niggas all the time. And my nah. girl is backstage with them, and I'm I'm on the in the in the seat like this. Say, I know this the nigga that I see on the internet. But you don't have to act like that. I do. You don't have to act because like that. Because I gotta let you know, like now. Nah. We gotta let you know he's standing but on that's, his exactly. I can't put my head. Bro, I that's a know. red flag. I'm sorry. I'm that's that's groupy shit. The whole time, time you time back there. That's time groupy time. shit. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. That's groupy You're shit. Gonna, listen, that's insecure listen, shit. So vanity. From an artist and a comedian perspective, <laughs> we're gonna think as we're thinking. Okay. But the the average joke. Or the person that we bought there to don't don't pout because this is true. I ain't pouting. I'm growling. <laughs> okay. You're gonna bite me, y'all. I'm sorry. The average Joe or the person without the talent, as you said, is not going to share the same perspective. I've had women be very <laughs> jealous of other women taking pictures with me. That's the good. And one. I've had to break. Man, listen, we got to have that talk. Nigga, if you don't have that talk. You I gonna have a long no ride home. I literally had fourteen Man. other people with me that I've known way he longer than him. He ain't the fourth. He not the fourteen. He, you the had fourteen 13. ain't the one that's piping you down. Man, don't say it like that. <laughs> I gotta get through because you vulgar, so I'm trying to talk your language. You right. Oh, I'm trying to get it to so you understand. He I said, want, "I want my coochie." No, listen, he's one out of the out of them. The out, other of them 13. out of them. The yeah. rest of them people, he the only one that was in it. He in has, it. he has, that's true. But also, you knowing that I am an entertainer, this is not nothing new. I've been doing comedy for two years now. You come in, you deal with me, you know what comes with it. There's a level of, you need to just understand, you're not going to oh, be able to get you. into every door with me, mm -hmm. and you cannot hold me back from an opportunity for me because we're at a comedy show. I, I am a comedian. I am the talent. This is my opportunity. You cannot get in the way of that. I 1,000% agree. You cannot. Guess man. what? I had a serious relationship. I'm talking about like, yeah. I loved this girl. And knew what I did. Yeah. Met me doing what I did. After we got serious, why you got to talk about girls in your song? Man, I heard it. See? Oh, why you this got to do this? Man. Why you Who you this? wrote that about? I wish I was that I don't, I don't remember that kind of stuff. No, for real. You see what I'm saying? Come on now, don't do it. I, you know what? It's funny because I literally just had this conversation because my, my comedy homeboys be talking about their girls and yeah. they be, their girls yeah. be tripping because they be doing this and coming to the show and all that kind of do, doing stuff. I, and I be thinking to myself, I'm the girl in this situation. You the girl. But I'm, I, you know, it's I'm, it's, it's flipped. It's flipped. Flip. But you the talent. But I'm so the talent. And I said, I told all them niggas, I looked in their face and I said, I wish a nigga would question nigga me would. Yeah. about taking a picture with somebody or being out late or, because I'm just like, Look, baby, you they up. the girls, I understand women doing that because women, that's their nature. Yeah. But a man doing that to me sounds 
so crazy. You must never heard of pimping. Yeah. I ain't no, I, no, ain't nobody pimping me. Let me, let me, let me, this the thing, not the, I pimping mean, that's always, an extreme, but you know, what I mean is this, cool listen, because you are a woman in a male dominant <sighs> industry, face over here. I'm so mad. you know what I'm saying? Most men don't like they girl around other niggas. Yeah. On top of that, the average Joe get to sit on the internet and hear a Girls be sucking and fucking Girls to make be it. Sucking and fucking to make it. I ain't sucking and fucking to make nothing. You might not be. I understand but it. But you just also told me you didn't have that talk with me. Yeah. So now I get to form my own perception of every my mind gets because, to, and this is all because of the, the lines of communication have been. It all weird. that's it. It's all because you don't a talk. You, just a talk, man. Just because you just want to write it off as me being a, a groupie simp. What more do you that's how I feel. <laughs> My boy, you for me say. I'm so serious. I, can help you you I can't help. see. I can't see past. I just don't like it. I don't no, like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. This, that's exactly what we're talking about. Accountability last week. You need to look in that accountability cam- right there, camera, right, right there. there, accountability mirror. And you need to deal with the facts of what this man is. My asking. camera's right there. I've okay, been. your camera. My camera's over there. <laughs> Cause I've been. He got me looking over here. I, my camera's right here. Oh, no, for real though, man. It's just the fact of the matter. I had another question. Because I also been on yeah. your side. You remember I said it was the men' fault. Yeah. I'm just trying to help That's you. True. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We we got a, we got a follow up question to add a little bit there because I know we boy we done talked on that shit for a yeah minute. we did we did I that was my fault is I it, no it was more, fine. hold on y'all <laughs> is it more important to like a person than to love them mm. you go first on that one I mean do you have to like the person you that need you love? to like them in order to love them mm. do you yeah. think a lot of a lot of people don't share that perspective. I well, for me, I mean, I feel like I gotta like you in order to get to a point where I love you. Yeah. I mean, I ain't finna well, just what, go what from not knowing when you to love you. Off, baby. Mm. I hope it turned into love, or it just turned into nothing. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's gonna choke. go one There's way or the other. A lot of people but, out there that do not like their spouse. But you know what? You can. That's true. You can love somebody and not like them. That is true. Yeah. But I feel like it's a graduation. Like you got I can't just go from not knowing you to I love you. Like I like I just met you, sir. I can't just be like, I love you. I'm lying. I have partners. Hold on, hold on. Pause right there. Vanity. But they hate the character of their wife. It's a such thing as love at first sight. Mm. I mean, I don't believe that. I believe that's lust. You ain't met the right person. I haven't. That's why I'm single. And I hear dealing with groupie niggas. Well, you dealing with groupies for lack of communication. Mm. We already for came. We of, already came to the realization of, of that. That have nothing to do with the guys. That's because that's crazy. Because you that run this it, but, turned over on me. <laughs> I am. I have had it. But you said you run the relationship in that I regard. Want, I do want a relationship. You run it, right? No, I, I said run it. I don't want to say I run the relationship. I'm t- I'm, and, and that, I'm talking about in that like category. No, what, what, like, I don't think she said running. I don't, yeah, but I don't want to say that run because I, 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 I can be submissive. Okay, I'm with you. But I mean, you got of course you got to come and show yourself worthy to be submissive too. So like, how much work a nigga got to put in? They ain't got to put in a whole lot, but you got to do something. You can't just come in here and treat me like shit and think I'm just gonna bow down. Oh, I got you. For like sure. literally, you come in, you treat me right. As long as I'm loved properly, you just the floodgates. Oh, yeah. I'm with you. I'm a, I'm a I'm a soft like, nigga. I'm a soft point. real nigga. Okay. Oh wait a minute. Okay. Like I am. Lost me right there. I don't want no real nigga. Yeah, really. hey, I, I want to go you with a woman. Day. No, but I'm, I'm like, I, I, I know I can tend to come off like very hard. I say, no. that's why I say it's not really. I'm with you though. But I am, a, I'm a softie. I really am. I want a man to let me be a woman. Let yeah. me feel like a woman. But I need <laughs> that masculine energy. I need you to completely feel like a man so I can feel like a woman. Man, I'm going to say this. I opened the door for a chick one day, right? Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Mm. Beautiful lady. I see her. Man, when I say this woman looked at me like I sh- shit it on her back. Well, bitches ain't and, got no manners. Wait a minute, days. wait a minute. Listen. <clears throat> I held the door. 
long enough for her and her kids to walk through the door. Mm -hmm. And she looked at me as though, why you holding the door for me? I don't understand that. I don't understand it either. But I don't understand the perspective of there is a lot of people out there. Baby, I don't want you. What you should have did was grab them kids, pull their ass back out through the door, <laughs> and then grab her ass and pull her ass back through the door and close the door and let her open her own door since you want to be you such an independent ass bitch. I just myself and said, you know what, man? She didn't ask for that door to be open for her, man. Nah, see, bro, don't do that to you your No, no. Just move along, bro. Because yeah, you did You don't right know what thing. she got going you on. You did nah, right for That you bitch just fucked up. Yeah, yeah you, you it ain't just move you. along. Nah, for sure. Yeah, no, it ain't on me. Uh, Perspective. My answer to the question would be, uh, I don't know if it, it's different. My answer would be, uh, do you got to take like more it. than love for it a do. relationship to it work? Do, man. Because it do. the you not gonna love the person you wake up to every day. Should that person be your best friend? Yeah, someday you ain't gonna Should like your it more wife person. or your girlfriend be your best friend. It don't have to be, in my opinion. Because in my, if, let me, companies run every day and everybody don't like each other. Right. If yeah. you run it like a company, meaning you have the proper meetings, you communicate the right things. Right. Um, don't use that C word with me. Okay. Communicate is a big word. <laughs> You get that tattooed on your back, baby. He's just <laughs> nah. trying to—he's trying to rub that in right there. Nah, I ain't gonna say it no more. <laughs> no, keep saying it. Communication. Head ass. <laughs> but um, nah, I think it, that's how it be. Like some days you don't like going to work. Some days you do. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I yeah. think if you look and at every it every day, you but not we but, like, but, but this the thing like that person every day. We not taught that concept. Yeah. In our community, we taught you meet somebody, you fall in love with them. And you married him. Yeah. That's like, wait a minute. And you stick around whether you have And the contract that they give you that yeah. we sign, yeah. we don't know what it say all the way. Yeah. We don't alter it. Yeah. We don't add different things into it. just stick to the script, We just do what, you see what I'm saying? And right. I think that's where nobody's saying, hey, uh, hey, try to run your marriage like a bit. Again, I failed in marriages as well. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My uh, boss said marriages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, we, yeah. Me too. Couple. I, so I, yeah, I but failed. at the same no. time, like uh, <laughs> these things that I learned along the way. Like if you try to run it like a business, it might be successful. Yeah. You might just get some success out of it. Yeah. And that mean if you go to work and y'all got meetings yeah. and uh, sometimes what they feed you, you pizza, hey, sometimes look, Tuesday, you know, yeah. Tuesday we need to have. A, there we go. Sit down, you we know. Need to have a sit down. We, we have evaluation. We what we going out. for next exactly. year? Exactly. We need to. I ain't gonna lie. I do want somebody that's my best friend. I'm a soft. Like I said, I'm a softy. I can't help myself. You got 14 best she's friends. A, <laughs> she's just a softy heart. I do have a lot of friends. I have more more friends than I. I now everybody's not my best friend, but I have I, I have a lot of friends now. Right. Why I say I want somebody that whoever I'm in a relationship with, I would like them to be my best friend in a sense because I want to, I don't want to be in a situation where we can't wait to get away from each other. Man. I don't like that. Like, I want to be with somebody where we enjoy each other's company. Exactly. Whether it's just us two, we could be with a group of people, but, but she, it's if it's us. just us, we finna, we finna have a good we time. Divide, and we don't have to be feeling like, I got to get out, oh, man. I got to get out yeah. with the girl. No, I feel you. I want, I want you to be my you. friend, but you yeah. don't have to be my best friend. I, mean, I don't want to know everything a bit that you got going on. Like <laughs> and you can't. So the thing about I that, don't. too. I just, I don't yeah. want to. It's some you stuff. You can't require your <laughs> partner. Oh, baby. Call <laughs> Sheila for No, thanks. Call, call Laquita for that. Yeah, That's thank true. you. Please. But you can't require your partner to just literally, um. Be there for you to dump everything on them. Nah, for sure. You need other friends because you'll drain your partner by dumping Please. too much on exactly. them and expecting them to carry That's the weight of all that. They got their own shit they, they going I through. Decide. Yeah, so you need other people. You need your own friend group. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I love being around you. I want to go hang out with my girls. Though. Exactly. Yes. I, I got different you time away, man. I'm a big yeah. advocate for that. Because we might not like all the same life. shit. Yes. yes. Outside of me. Because yeah. just because we together don't mean we have to. Just because I like I like basketball, you got to like basketball. Nah. You know what I'm saying? You might like football, but occasionally because I like basketball, a, you want to watch basketball. There is a such thing as too much. Mm. Togetherness. Togetherness. You gotta have your own interest, though. Yeah. 
You do. You have to have your own personality. Because when you get caught and you get lost in people, like, because you you so wrapped up in everything that they got going on, and you ain't got shit for yourself, you don't have an escape. Is and you just important? gonna build up pressure, build up pressure, you're gonna kill your goddamn right. self. Yeah. Is it important for your spouse or your your person to validate your interests? No. Ooh, hold on. Let me think about that one before I answer. Hold on. Because I get where you. I I, I've been there, of, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. It just feel. It just feel good when your woman says, "Man, you know you." Yeah, you I think jamming, that's more you know of a I'm feeling, saying? bro. I okay, you said. Yeah. Okay, you be like kind of crazy. Interest, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna say this because I'm not a person who seeks validation in yeah. people. So. You don't have that to necessarily. Validation. I mean, yeah. but it depends. Because yeah. you ain't got to tell You're going to feel you good if Mr. Groupie be like, baby, you just Man, killed baby, it. You baby. killed that no, homie. That do, I couldn't it even do. sit down. And... It do. That okay. does feel okay. good. I ain't going to say it's a requirement, yeah, but it does. does feel good. Because at the end of the day, I know what I, what I do right, and what exactly. I'm capable of. Because I was doing and it before you, you came along. To be in tip, you but I want you to be in tune. But you don't have to be like up my ass about. Stuff just because. So you trying to give it cut a level of of support, or you? Yeah, I, like, no, I want, I want your support. Yeah, okay, but don't overkill. Like, yeah, okay, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, understand. okay, thanks. All right, I get. Nah, for real. Don't for real. Don't don't get, he ain't got to kiss my ass to make yeah. me feel good or make me like make me feel like a whole person because I don't need. I'm I already it, a whole person. For me, it go back to what I was saying about the character. Yeah, like uh, I believe in images. I believe in marketing. So, because I try to make this image and shit really be something, right. I really don't care if she don't. Because it give me another place to be the real me. Me. Facts. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to do it regardless. You really don't even got to listen to this shit if you don't want yeah, to. Yeah, nah, you're going to do it regardless. Because we get enough validation outside. We mm -hmm. do. It's like, why I need... I really don't. I didn't got to a point, bro. Feel, I don't. It even, would just feel good. It do. That's why I said it's more of a yeah. feeling for. But me, I don't want to say. I don't want to put support and validation in the same category. That's what it is. Though. It is. But it is. Uh, that's kind of weird. Don't like it, you better believe if they bold enough. They Boy, they gonna say, "Hey, man, cut that shit out." But I'm saying, like, when you're talking about a partner, like, no, like. I, I hear people say all the time, like like my homeboy Gary that's coming next week, he said, you know, like his wife don't ever come to his shows and stuff like that. It's not she doesn't support him. You know, she that's just not her scene. She don't come to shows and stuff like that. I yeah. like the separation, man. The, and that too. And that very well may be so. I know I do to sell my character. Yeah, you might not agree with it. I don't want you to see it. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm, like, I, I'm going to tell you straight up, I'm going to. Cross whatever line I gotta cross <laughs> yeah. to sell my character. Yeah. Oh, I'm a freak my dance boy on said. you. <laughs> on the stage, yeah. I will freak. We handing flowers out. We. Nah, I'm damn near gonna kiss you if. You <laughs> no, know what for I'm real. Well, not it. Hold on. Yeah. Wait a minute. Then do time. Wait, wait a minute, man. Nah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Put your lips nah, on everything. To sell man. the the character. Because once I get off stage, you're selling a, a off, fantasy, like, an image. Exactly. You're you selling, I get it. I'm finna go home and be a daddy. I'm finna yeah. eat breakfast. and. But I, I don't you. necessarily need you to. You can support my interests without just going overkill. Like, you don't have to be at every show. Like, if you wanna come and you wanna help. Like, you want to sell my yeah. merch? Yeah. You want to tend to stuff? Like, yeah, but nah, I don't I'm need you to you give nope. me a pat on the back I every most time definitely I don't want you to sell nothing. If you come, you going to be like a trophy. I mean, that don't too. Make, look, but let I me give you some, some game. I, I don't want put them in the mix. Mm. Well, okay. Don't put them in the mix. Well, I'm just saying, like, say if my mama I'm comes to the show. I'm trying to show. turn it in. Okay. I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm listening. But like Look. if my mama come to a show, like my mom. Come uh, to the <laughs> bitch up there, you better catch that motherfucker. You gonna always win paying somebody. Nah, for real, man. It's easier. Yeah. I'm telling yeah. you, it's easier. And, and getting robbed by your the parents or somebody you, like that. that you fuck because with. I don't, I don't you even made... put my friends in positions to take from me. Look. And that makes you know, sense. Like yeah. I used to do. Look, um, shirt twenty five. Everyone you sell, you keep this amount. Bloom, bloom, bloom. Like, look, let's do something like that. I know how many her. I do a count. When the show over, I do a count. Yeah. Okay, this how many gone. I should have this much money. Like, I can count. You know what I'm right. saying? You know, that shit is I done much been easier. I by some motherfuckers it's much club easier. doors and all that it's shit, man. It's much easier. 
Because now, when that kind of stuff happened, yeah. now I can't feel bad about what I want to do. Right. You yeah. see what I'm saying? I don't want to have no ill will against one of my family members. Yeah, man. Nah, okay. Man. And I understand that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Nah, don't put it. I mean, mom, I just, I've, I have used my mom because she, I mean, for me, she trustworthy. I mean, mama is one thing. Yeah. yeah. But I don't, I, use, I usually <laughs> don't let other people run I, I won't, stuff I'm nothing telling like you, bro. I, I usually I try to make her like a queen. Like, I usually sit down tend over to attend to that stuff, like, but yeah. I mean, that's actually a good point, though, because. As I progress and stuff like that, and I do need somebody to help me so that I can be able to move around and do what I need to do, that does make a lot of sense to get right. somebody, just right. pay somebody like for everything you sell, you yeah, get a piece of that. Yeah. Exactly. You, can cut they, you can cut them off. They can show worthiness. You ain't going to feel bad when you got to fire them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You got no real attachment to the situation other than the growth of your shit. Right, right, yeah. right. So if you're I, not on this mission, like. Exactly. It's like, what, what the fuck? But I, I tell y'all what, man, you, that was a great subject, you know what I'm saying, that for, was, for us good. to, you know, like, kind of, like, elaborate on and, and speak, you know what I'm saying, especially, I know it's a lot of other people out there who share either similar perspectives right. or, or probably been in, in, in those similar type situations. Mm-hmm. So we keep the questions coming, you know what I'm saying? We appreciate that. Y'all, y'all can also send those questions to THA, S. Or I'm, I don't even know how to spell this. <laughs> hey, bro, he uh, on that Henny hard. Blame it on the alcohol. With the podcast. Yeah, yeah, you need to lay off the yeah, head. Yeah, Get off the head, dog. Sh- strong tonight. But anyway. So what's a, who, who's our shameless plug? Because I know. Man, look here, man. I'm, I'm look, trying to see what's going on now. I am the official ambassador of this fine company called Weedville. Um product services you know what i'm saying they are based out of california hey but this is a brand that's i mean we're finna take over the world man okay you know um um i actually did a song uh to plug the brand mm-hmm. uh they took a liking to it you know what i'm saying and now we're using it um I mean, we, it's a lot of stuff, you know what I'm saying, in the works with Weavia. So y'all be be on the lookout, you know what I'm saying? We got a lot of social media, a lot of different campaigns that are about to come up, man. So uh, if you smoke, <laughs> go to Weavia. For the culture. You for know sure. I mean? don't smoke, but I may try it just well, for y'all. Oh, man. And, and look, Hell no, nah, this should make me paranoid. We're going to have gear here soon, you know what I'm saying? Sure. So I want y'all to rock with us, man, until we get all of our social media and stuff up because we just now learned. Yeah, like this is a fresh new campaign, man. So, uh, shout out to uh, my my guy uh, uh, Marcus Florence. You know what I'm saying, and everybody uh, uh, over there at Ghost Entertainment, man. I appreciate y'all vibing with us, man. Uh, we got my boy Ace Culture in here tonight, man. You know yeah, what I'm man. Yes. Hey, I've been hey Our artist me. spotlight. Look, F- first me. artist spotlight. We had, hold on, we had a couple of uh, artist spotlight in the couple. Yeah. Uh, uh, hold on, give me a uh, few seconds. Yeah. Oh, I we got need you. To we go, got you. Uh, I've been drinking these drinks yeah, over here. Yeah, yeah, I've been me drinking too. and drinking. I need to go hit this restroom. Yeah. As soon as I come back, I'm going to turn this mic down. I'm going to show y'all. I'll be chilling. I'll be talking humble. But like when I yeah. start rapping, I'm a totally different person. Yeah. Okay, we're going to let you do that. Uh, but yeah, I'll be right back. Okay. You got a uh, a shameless moment. You know oh Lord, how talk, many? Talk to us about it. You know what? Um, the shameless moment, honestly, is really man. This Cat Williams stuff. Wow, it is so much to talk about, and I honestly don't oh, want because we, we didn't talk about, about it. Next week. next next week for sure, y'all need to tune in. Yeah. I'm finally gonna have some of my comedian friends on yes. the show, yes. and I am super excited to dive I'm into. It. It's been a well. lot. Um. Just on the comedy side, uh, if you follow a lot of comedians, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Is this good for comedy, Vanny? Is the beef and all the, the I the think extra, that antics. so there's there's beef in everything. It is. You know what I'm saying? It's a yin and a yang to everything. But the attention is. I involved. feel like it's it's good for comedy because right. it's it's about to separate boys from me. No fact. It's a this is about to separate. Who really got talent? Yeah, and who out here playing? Yeah, because or who or, or who really done been bought? That too. Yeah. Um, on the the grander scale of things, when you talk about the the larger comedians, it's so funny that I like you go. I think you're gonna start seeing some a little bit of a, alliances come together. Mm. Um, 
I've already, I, I think I'm already kind of seeing it. Yeah, online. you are seeing the alliances you know, come together. The people who are on this side and these the people, people on this because side, the people who are coming out in uh, on behalf of uh, Cat Williams, I'm starting to see them align with him. Yeah, you and you got saying? people coming yeah. against him. Yeah, they are. Um, you know, it's everybody got an opinion, and of course, by me being a comedian and working with so many and knowing so many, yeah, my timeline is just. Terrible. Yeah. It's I mean it ain't nothing but one comedian Man, after they, other. They, everybody they got, giving an opinion. Them, everybody uh, putting a dog <laughs> in the fight. That if they don't even have a reason to have a dog in the fight, <laughs> you ain't even got enough money to have a dog in the fight. Right. Sometimes it's okay to just be quiet. But I love the memes though, man. I the memes see, are funny. I see one I, with, the conversation with, 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 what's his it name? needs to Steve be had. Harvey and a thong on, on the goddamn. Oh game. yeah, I saw that. Yo, what's going on? <laughs> but it's, it's 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 waking everybody up, and it's just so much he say, she say. You yeah. got Cat Williams going on Sh on Club Shay Shay, and then you got him going on Willie D, and you got Ali yeah. Sadiq. Come on, you got Ali Sadiq going on there, and him. It, it was just it's a lot of back and yeah. forth, a lot a lot of publicity. I will say <laughs> that exactly. it's gonna help boost numbers for a lot what? of people. The man's gonna go on tour, and, and not even just him. It's gonna cause a lot of people to want to go out and see a lot of different people, exactly. just because we just want to hear what they got to say about. Nah, this for shit. sure. He so did do a lot yeah, of so I just feel like it's it it is good for the comedy industry. It's good for the comedy game. It's it's opening a lot of. Up, up a lot of conversations that right. need to be had Facts. about Facts. what really goes on in the comedy game. Exactly. Because a lot of people don't know. I was so naive to so much shit man, as a, a patron. Into it, man. I was so naive yeah. as a patron of comedy and then coming into it and doing it and seeing how motherfuckers really move. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then I kind of came out of nowhere yeah. and, and, and started really making a way for myself and you see how people start shifting and yes, moving around do. you when they you do so as, as each level that you rise up that ladder it's gonna uh, get weirder and weirder it's, go, it's going to get weirder and weirder there is a level though where i, I think that's like because a lot of people are like yeah they sold they sold they, yeah, they did this they did that i think some of it is subjective yeah. Because there's a lot of ways to sell your soul. That's true. It ain't even just on that level. It's just yeah. even on the lower. Like people just shifted and moving and how people act with you and around nah, you and, sure. yeah. and shit like that, even on my level. Yeah. Um, you know, so I I'm I want to deep next dive week, into man, it. Next week we got my boy Gary, Gary Nettles Jr. on the show. Man. Um I'm a see I got another comedian I'm trying to get on. Uh so we can just have a real good candid conversation about it, comedy. And really get into you know the the the, yeah, the dark side the of it because everybody think comedy is all about laughs and giggles because nah, y'all think that you know because we tell jokes that we funny all the time. Now nah, it's, it's some sick motherfuckers that do it's, comedy. It's crazy because entertainment within itself that too it's full of it's full of you man it's unique man. people yeah. yes yeah unique yeah. people unique and some of the who funniest get motherfuckers is yeah. crazy real talk crazy as hell. Well, we gonna jump right into the artist spotlight, yes. man. Yeah, I want y'all to give a shit, DJ. yeah. I, I want y'all to give a <laughs> warm round of applause for my boy. Hold on, let three me, piece suit. Yeah, three piece suit, Ace Culture. Let me drop this, man. We three finna. Two, I've been bullshitting on this music, man. I yeah. record every day. I do about three, four songs. I do my thing, bro. I be killing shit. I'm yeah. finna drop a yeah. record. Hold up. Uh, yeah. I'm finna drop some shit in fucking uh February. Yeah. Run that back, take me to the top, let me hear that shit. <laughs> Yo. Ace yeah. Culture. Hey. My voice carried, I don't need no hey. Yeah. We were something like lost kings until we found that bread. Now, baby, it's cream, it's enough cheese to spread. Long, long, gotta lump it up. Post the seeds, you my numbers up. Can't hey, see me in your bubble cuz. Can't believe I'm coming up. Got me doing my dance. Right, only hit me when them checks right. I remember my decisions had me fucked up living a mess life. Couldn't align my visions, now they just right. More of a counter exotic views, the best life. In the loo, whipping the cat, see what it fish like. Losing wasn't cool, had to get right. Cool did the fool, but never knew that it would hit like this. Is lit, looking for a big night. Trying to see what their sex like. Trying to get with this flex pipe. Let us see what this flex like. Let us see if it's just height. Let us see, I'ma let us see. Yeah. Let us see, curve the next night. Let a team that she text like. Hold up. Let a P live a pimp life. Let a D was in my windpipe. You 
a letter B to say sitting right. Damn, let me tell you who I am. Show up and show out. Baby, just sit tight. So I rolled up in the back. We'll give me a light. Let me see what it hit like. Let's go. Damn, that shit hit right. Baby girl got that ass. Damn, damn. I like what it said like. Damn, damn. I know that shit's tight. Swear I think I'm him like. I was dipped in that same shit. Hold up. These dipped Achilles and I'm built like a heavy duty Dodge Duty Ram with a cam in his shit like. I'm carrying him. I'm scaring them. Cause I'm grim like. Yeah. Yeah. Ace culture. Miss enough cheese to spray. No, no, no. Got to love it. Up. 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 Hey, see me and get bubble cuss. Hey, believe I'm coming up. You got me doing my dance. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Woo! 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 Woo!